Hello everybody, this is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo. Today's video is all about my Jesse James Ambassador Beads that I received this month, which was November. And in there, I got a little bonus, and I want to show you what I did with the bonus, and then we're going to make some jewelry. So, as a bonus, we got these fun buttons from Jesse James Beads sister shop called Dress It Up, and they have all kinds of really neat buttons over there. But they sent me these Christmas light buttons. I got um, a pair of these gold ones, red, green, and blue. Now, I was visiting with my in-laws, and my children were there, and um, the girls of the family were discussing about these, and I had several ideas, and I, I didn't share it with them, but I asked them, I said, what do you think of these buttons, and what would you like made out of them? And they, all of them said, and this is 100% of them, I would just put them on some ear wires just for some simple earrings. And so that's what I did. They were so easy to do. And I've done this before. In fact, I had some bigger ones last year that were available in my shop. And uh, these are a little bit smaller. I think I like them better because they are smaller. A lot of us like the, the petite look. <laughs> but that was the gold pair. Here's the red pair. And all I did was just open up an ear wire and hung them. Closed it up. Boom. We got us a pair of earrings. I probably did all of these in about five minutes. <laughs> but aren't they fun? I love the blue ones. I think those are my favorite. And then here are the green ones. Anyway, I just wanted to show you these real quick before we got on to our uh, jewelry demonstration with something else I got from Jesse James Beads. I just wanted to let you know you could do very simple things, and I think most people like simple jewelry. Anyway, on with the star of the show. So one of the things I got for the ambassador kit was this chain. And I'm going to be honest with you. I have been at a loss of what to do. Um, it would make a nice little bracelet or a necklace in the same fashion as this. But I'll, it, it tends to kind of kink up a little bit. See if I can, of course, now that I'm showing you, it's not going to kink up. Um, and anyway, take my word for it. It does kink up a little bit and I don't, I don't like that. Um, the other thing is it has holes to hang stuff, but they're very, 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 very tiny. And not only are they hard to see, but it's hard to find jump rings or any findings that will actually fit through there. What I finally wound up doing was just taking some wire, and I believe this is 22 gauge, and it did fit, but barely. And we're going to make uh, a pair of earrings and then a necklace. So after determining how long I wanted everything, it wound up being eight of these little leaf links. They're really pretty cool. I love the look of them, but like I said, they were really hard to work with. But what I did is I just counted eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I'm going to cut. And I'm going to, you have to actually cut the whole link. And you have to be careful that you're not going to cut the little tiny opening there. And it, it takes a few cuts to do that. There was one. Oh, that one actually worked right away. The other ones were a little harder. Now, let me make sure I got eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, got eight. So we're making a pair of earrings with this. So I'm using these antique brass ear wires. And I'm going to dangle this bead that I got from the holiday collection from Jesse James Beads. There's a lot of beautiful stuff in here. I've made quite a few things, and I still have a ton of stuff left. Um, I want to flank that bead with these 
gold tone, little tiny seed beads. Of course, the wire I said I'm going to need. I need a head pin. There. <laughs> and uh, I believe that's all. I have to show you this. I'm trying to get these ear wires untangled. And I don't know if you can see it, but one ear wire threaded through that bead. I don't know if I'm ever going to get them separated. What are the odds of that? I don't know if you can see that or not. I'll work with that later. See if I can get another, another ear wire here. So the first thing I'm going to do is address this dangle bead here. I'm just going to put the gold tone bead on, a little glass crystal, another gold tone bead, and I'm just going to do, I'm not going to wire wrap it, I'm just going to do a simple bend it over, cut the length that you don't need, set it aside because uh, that's a pretty big piece. I'll be able to use that for something else. Use my round nose pliers to make a loop. And then I'm going to open the loop. It is open a little bit, but I'm going to open it up pretty wide because I'm going to hang it on the hole at the bottom. I'm, I'm having these um, leaves V to the V down instead of Ving up. And this is probably the hardest part, is threading that into the little tiny hole. So I'm really having a hard time putting this on to here. And I know it works because I've already got the other earring done. And I'm going to set this aside a little bit. I'm going to jump to the next step, only because if you wanted to leave the bead off, you could. And I wanted to show you what that looks like. So this is when you need your wire here. <clears throat> and first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start my little loop here because we're going to do a messy wire or a messy wrap rather. And you want all your your leaves, the V's facing down. And this one's much easier to to put on the wire just because of where it is. So you want to thread it through like that. <clears throat> and then you're just going to, probably better if I do it this way, wrap your wire around a few times. And then I'm going to clip it off and tuck that wire in. <clears throat> But first, I'm going to do this. So I need to make another loop. This is a loop that's going to go on your ear wire. And you have to adjust these loops a little bit here. The reason you can't hang it directly onto the ear wire is because the loop is going the wrong way. And you know, if you have ear wires that you can... Um, cut this off. If you do have ear wires <clears throat> that you can turn without breaking them, go for it. I don't have those. I'm making a mess here, but it works. <laughs> All right, here we go. Wrap this around. And it's a messy, a messy wrap. That's what I want. Once you've got your wire all wrapped, you need to make sure you tuck it in there. Otherwise, the person wearing it is going to be uncomfortable. So I have it all wrapped up and I'm just going to hang it on here. I need to make sure it's going the right way. Let me close that up and 
do any adjustment I need. See, that right there makes a pretty cool earring, just all in itself like that. But I'm determined I'm going to get that bead to hang down. So let me work on it, and I'll be back. All right. I'm officially old. <laughs> My dad gave me this contraption many, many years ago, and I thought he was crazy. But anyway, I whipped it out, and I found out what the problem was. The Because I thought I kept getting it in the loop. Well, come to find out, when I clipped this off, I actually also clipped the loop off. So, anyway, I'm not going to be able to hang anything off of that. But let me show you what it does look like with something hanging off. And I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to make two pair of earrings. I'll make one with, with, the, loop, with the bead and one without. And I just wanted to show you either one here. And I'm going to show you what else I've done. And I'm not quite finished with it yet. <clears throat> but I made a necklace. I did the same thing. This time, though, I made a bigger loop up here so it can just go on this chain. And I was debating on which chain to use because I have this chain and I have this bigger chain. But I think the bigger chain is too too big for this. This is more of a dainty piece. So let's work on this guy. So what I've done, I went ahead and I got two jump rings and I went ahead and attached them to the chain because I want to make sure that I measure my chain out correctly. And you always need to take into consideration the clasp. So we're going to make this a uh, 18 inch. So there's 12 and 18. And I am going to trim that right there. And open up this jump ring. These type necklaces are really pretty easy to do just to make a chain necklace. Oops. There we go. Close it up. And you have a very petite. Okay, see how it's kinking up? That's what I was talking about. But you can usually just shake it out. Anyway, that is your very simple necklace. And then your choice of earrings. <laughs> Personally, I do like these better. And I am going to go try to see if I can make another pair. Well, I'll have two pair here that you can choose from. And, you know, I could have edited all these boo-boos I was having going on. I could have edited this totally out of the video, but I got to thinking about it. I thought, you know what? I'm not going to do that because I want y'all to know that, you know, when you put together a piece, it's not just slam it together really quick. You're going to run into issues just like everything else. And a lot of this, you just have to be patient with it. Um, if you're, you know, been making jewelry for a while, you totally know what I'm talking about. But those of you who are new to jewelry making, you just have to be patient. It'll come out eventually. Um, don't give up, you know, unless you just, it's just really giving you grief. But um, I suggest that you just keep at it. And as you go, you will learn. And uh, anyway, let me go make these. I'll put some really cool pictures at the end of this so you can see what it looks like a little bit closer. I hope you enjoyed this video. A thumbs up would be greatly appreciated. Mostly though, I hope you all have a fantastically wonderful day. This is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo signing out for now. Bye-bye. I wanted to come back on here really quick before I showed you the pictures. I'm giving up on the earrings with this on here. I have um, I, I love the look of this chain, but I'm going to be honest, because I am honest, it is very difficult to work with. 
um, looks really cool makes great earrings but I keep when I clip off the link I keep cutting the very dainty hole that's in them so I'm gonna have two necklaces like this and I'm probably gonna put them in my shop <laughs> since I have two of them anyway stay tuned for close-up pictures